Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Ooh, we got a lot going on today. It's not cute not knowing. And now we're going to know. We're going to get this hug in because after the day I had, and I'm going to tell you, come on, let's do a hug. First off, happy birthday, Chocolate Divinity. Today is Toya's birthday. It's Leo season, everybody. And she's celebrating. We got a lot of prayers going out today. Jasmine Sullivan. Let's pray for Jasmine and her family. She lost her mom over the weekend. Her mom had been battling breast cancer since 2019, and she fought, fought the fight. Let's keep Jasmine Sullivan and her family in prayer. You know, it's hard to lose a loved one, particularly when it's a parent, your mom. Please keep her in prayer. Got to keep the James family in prayer. What happened to LeBron James' son, Bronny, the 18-year-old who plays for University of Southern California, just started this year. He went into cardiac arrest while practicing. Cardiac arrest is like what leads up to that heart attack because everything kind of like freezes. You know, the blood flow, everything, and it stops. Thank God they got, they got him in time. What's troubling about this, he was an ICU, and now he's stable. LeBron James and family were smart to jump in front of it before it got out. Lot of, a lot's at stake with this young man. LeBron dreams of playing in the NBA with his son, pushing him. And there's plans for him to maybe spend a year in USC and then go into the NBA. But if you have cardiac issues, which... It's not common, but we hear of things happening to athletes. Damar Hamlin, what happened to him earlier this year? Years ago, I was just getting into radio. I think it was my last year of high school. There was a player by the name of Len Bias. He was supposed to be the Michael Jordan, the player extraordinaire. He had just signed to the Boston Celtics. Now, his was drug-related, and it was such a sad story because he was so young. Uh, I worked with a guy, and his son died playing basketball. There's a lot riding on Bronny James. Pray for the family. You know, maybe it could have been isolated, but now they're going to have to check and see if this young man has cardiac issues, heart problems. They're going to have to check that out. But that was some shocking news. Singer Tori Kelly battling blood clots. Her lungs, her legs, not good. Um, she's currently being hospitalized. Carly Russell confesses. She admitted that she lied. She was the young lady in the kidnapping drama. That story fell apart so fast. Last week, I said she needs help. For her to do what she did, and it was damaging, and this is not to make light of an issue with her, because so many people throw her in jail. She should be fine. Punish her. I think people got so emotional because there was this, this immediate outpouring of pray for her, pray for Carly, and everybody feels like, damn, girl, you lied. Obviously, there were some problems going on in her life. Boyfriend, job, life. And I said she needs to get help to deal with life. Now, why her mama was up there lying, I, I think there's a certain part you'd be like, I'm not doing that. But I know the mama's feeling, maybe the mom fed into it, but go back and watch that interview. The dad ain't saying nothing. Dad was just sitting there. The mama was just going on. And the reporter kept asking her questions. It wasn't funny, but it was odd. I hope that Carly gets help. And I said this last week. Not to excuse what she did because it was terrible. Because women go missing every day. Children go missing every day. Apologizing is the most difficult and first step in trying to right a wrong. 
It was a mistake. She realized this. And I hope she grows from it. I hope she doesn't have to carry it for the rest of her life. She probably will. But when you can man up, woman up, and apologize, that's a big step because a lot of people won't. They will hang on to the lie until they die. I hope she gets help. I think she needs, I think she needs help. The boyfriend is a trip. Yesterday, stop bullying her. Today, I'm disgusted. I want the boyfriend. Come on. Come here. Come here. You like to go back and forth. We ain't going back and forth. She needs help. It's going to be interesting. In a way, I think they're not going to punish her because she was, came out and was honest. But then she might have to pay fines. It costs money. I know the money. Um, they say that people can't get their money back who, like, gave, you know, they was, like, giving money. She ain't going to get it, but it might have to go to cover the cost of the searches and investigations and stuff like that. But the people who gave money, they said they are not giving the money back. Whew, today was nothing but seriousness, but I got some stuff to make you laugh. The actor strike is going on, and I had someone say to me yesterday, well, how come Tom Cruise and Denzel Washington ain't out there? Think about it. Are you going to pay attention to a superstar that makes millions per movie? They'll probably be like, why are you out there? Y'all rich. But they can give money, like The Rock did. See, there is, um, it's like um, a welfare fund, but I don't think welfare is the right name to say, but there's this fund that goes to help actors because when you go on strike, you're not getting no money. You got to pay your bills. You got to eat. You got your families. What The Rock did, he gave a sizable amount of money. A sizable amount. And I hope that other superstars can too. We don't know how long this strike gonna last. We don't know. They're already saying the color purple might be delayed and Dune and other projects. Let's hope that they give money. Because with a strike, there there's no money. You still gotta feed your family. Here's a question for you guys. Nene Leakes. She released a statement about her son. Her 33-year-old son last week was busted with a fentanyl. Possession of it. Lied and said he was his younger brother. Nene says, my son has an addiction. There's nothing I can do. I thought it was interesting because when you're dealing with a person with an addiction, whether they're in your family, they go, if they do enough dumb stuff to piss you off, you just kind of like go on, you don't want to help yourself. It's difficult, but that, that statement struck me as cold. It really did. I was like, damn. She said, there's nothing I can do. She's trying to get back in the Housewives franchise. Child, she tore her behind. That's what old time saying. She tore her behind. They don't even want to bring her back. She said, there's nothing I can do. Maybe she's at her wit's end. Maybe she's tried. She says he needs rehab. Obviously, he does. He's been, in, he's been in and out of trouble for a while. And he's 33. What do you think? Dealing with someone with an addiction is hard. It really is. And some people wear out their welcome. President Obama, his chef died. Drowned. You cannot be getting in no kind of water if you don't know how to swim. Not almost swim. You got to know how to swim. And I think it should be a mandatory course that people know how to swim. Because you got to know how to handle yourself in water. He drowned Martha's Vineyard. Neo continues to be one of the funniest men out here. I, I love Neo because I love his music. And I've been interviewed and had a good time. Neo, okay, you divorced your wife, you ain't trusting your side chick who had two kids for you. Neo has moved on to new women. They said he was in Miami with not one but two women. Okay, Neo, don't get nobody pregnant. I love Neo because I've interviewed him. 
Does every interview goes well? No. I did an interview today that, that, that I had to cut off with comedian Faison Long. He was an L. Uh, he's coming to town for a comedy show. First, he said WBLS, which is a great radio station, but I don't work at WBLS. I work at WDAS. So he's going to snap at me. I said it's WDAS, not BLS. That's what I said. That was mistake number one, because now you now you're 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 heading into the direction of pissing me off. Then he had a baby. Oh, this is my child. I'm thinking this ugly man that made another baby. I know I shouldn't say that. The baby wouldn't stop making noise. Sir, I'm trying to interview you. Can you get the mother or somebody? to just hold the baby because you're working, you're promoting the show. Baby wouldn't be quiet. Then he wanted to know where we were located because the comedy venue is outside of Philadelphia. I was like, you're not fitting to get on my nerves today. We got heat wave in Philly. I'm going through menopause. I got this wig on. It don't take much to, to, to flash. It really doesn't. It don't take, don't take much. So he continues to clown and act foolish. And I said, you know what? Go on and waste somebody else's time. Because this is your show, not mine. Waste somebody else's time. Oh, girl, what you talking about? You mean? Well, you're making me mean, damn it. Because I ain't got no time for this. Now. I be trying not to cuss. Somebody said, Pat, you a cusser. I said, I know, and I'm, I'm trying not to. And every day I wake up to be a nice person. But what we not going to do, what we not going to do, because sometimes you got to cuss that person out. Then they won't bother you no more. I said, what we not going to do is do this. You get on my nerves. You have a show. I don't have a show. I don't need to interview you. So I cut it off. Some people are where they are in life for a reason. He has not moved on since that movie Elf, where he was the black Santa. He has not moved on. And I'm like, I can see why you are where you are. And you're bitter. You give horrible interviews and go on somewhere with that. A few minutes later, I interviewed Mark Curry. Remember hanging with Mr. Cooper? He was wonderful. Not Some interviews go great, but then there are some interviews. You have to end them. <laughs> My advice to young people, I said, just end it. Don't get no argument. Sometimes you just got to end it and be like, bye. But he was rude. And I said, you're not going to ruin my day. But it is. It's a lot. The menopause. It's, 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 it's a lot. It's... <laughs> okay. Dave Chappelle is going on tour. He's coming to a city near you. This is the year, the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Boy, I wish Dwayne was here for that moment. 50th anniversary of hip hop. Well, the ladies did their thing. And Netflix has dropped a new trailer for Ladies First. You got Queen Latifah. You got MC Light. Roxanne Chante. You got Yo Yo. You got some of the top hip hop women of today. Some of the newcomers, like a lot of. But this documentary is coming soon. But there are many great women who paved the way for the women in hip hop that you see today. Y'all know I'm silly. I want to make sure I went over everything. Today was like so serious. Did we mention Tiffany Haddish? All right, final story. Tiffany Haddish, Haunted Mansion, her new movie comes out. Now, yesterday I talked about um, and why is she promoting the movie? Because she filmed it a, a while. She did all these interviews a while ago. She got Haunted Mansion coming out. It's a Disney movie. So she hinted that things did not go well when she broke up with Common. Like, it just went, broke up with her over the phone. Now, she says, in her quest to be a mom, she's had eight miscarriages. 
Now, she didn't say who she was pregnant by, but she had miscarriages. But I was like, she doesn't know if she wants to have kids. It was, to me, she was revealing a lot. I said, eight miscarriages? We're going to keep you in prayer too, Tiffany, and hope that this movie does well at the box office. It, the budget was 158 Then you had the massive marketing. What's my favorite saying, y'all? Well, don't give somebody a stick to beat you over the head with. But when you're dealing with the box office and movies, they are looking to make their money back that they put out. Hope Haunted Mansion does. It opens in theaters on Friday. Whew. It's a lot. Did y'all know Snoop Dogg had ice cream? They say they got it in Walmart. I'm going to have to go in Walmart. Yes, yeah, Snoop Dogg has a ice cream. And, and it looks good. Dr. Bombay and all kind of flavors. But they say you can find it at Walmart. It's not cute not knowing. <laughs> today, <laughs> today was busy and today was serious. But... Some people just keep them in prayer because everybody is going through something. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie, a pop culture. We're going to send out a prayer to that face I love. They can try to learn to be nicer. Maybe funny.